Today I'm going to show you how I built this crosscut slot for my band saw. I can also use it to cut circles up to 60 centimeters in diameter, thanks to this part that will act as rotation axis. After cutting all the plywood pieces to size, I machined this part that will slide along the U-shaped slot in the bandsaw table. I'll use this piece of HPL, although any kind of hardwood will do as well. We must be very precise when cutting the piece to ensure it will slide smoothly without too much slack. I make the final adjustments with this piece of sandpaper stuck to a board. Looks like it's ready now. I'll make a little slot in this lead to help me position and lock the HPL. Now I'll make this rebate that will help me achieve perfectly straight cuts. Since this disc is not high enough, I'll make this series of cuts first. This lot will allow me to slide the part that acts as rotation axis to make circular cuts. Now I'll screw these two parts together. I mark and drill the position of the screws that will attach them to the slat. I've used this method of making a rebate, which lets me attach it and detach it when I need to cut circles. Now I make holes to lock the HBL in place. I use the same holes to mark the HPL itself. I drill it with a bit that is half a millimeter smaller than the diameter of the screws, and I thread the hole with a tab. I prepared the part that adjusts the diameter of the circles. We could also use hardwood instead of HPL. I'll use this shelf support pin I had lying around in the shop as axis. I drill its position and that of the screw, allowing me to lock the part at the desired diameter. I finish machining it and check if everything is correct. By tightening the screw, the part expands, but not too much, meaning we must be very precise to obtain a good lock. I'm going to test it. First I'll try to make a tenon using the fence and the sled. Looks like it's working well. Now I'll try to cut a circular piece that is 200 millimeters in diameter. I measure the radius with a measuring tape and tighten the screw of the part that acts as an axis. The cut is smooth and everything seems to be working as intended.
Of course, I can also tilt the bandsaw table and make circles with the edge at an angle. I've left a gap in the base of the bandsaw so that I can always keep this lead accessible. And that's all for today. See you soon.